Hello, and welcome to the installation guide of Immortal DMA Warrior. First thing you want to do is remove the contents from the box. Once you've removed the tape, you're going to remove the panel and pull up on the box. You'll get a slip of paper that points you to our website, immortaltech.net. In the box, you will have the FPGA DMA device, Immortal Warrior, a PCI bracket, heat sink, and screws. a USB-A to C adapter, and a USB-C to USB-A wire. First you want to do is remove the FPGA DMA from the anti-static sleeve. Remove the PCI bracket, heat sink, and screws from the anti static sleeve. We're now going to apply the heat sink to the FPGA DMA device. Place this on the Arctic 7 chip. You're going to peel the sticker away from the heat sink and place the heat sink onto the chip. It should stick as so. Make sure it is firmly placed onto the chip and you are ready to go. Now you're going to install the PCIe bracket onto the FPGA DMA device. Line up the, the PCIe bracket with the FPGA DMA device. You will now screw in the device to the bracket. Make sure the USB-C's are firmly and well connected. Screw in the PCI bracket to the device, but make sure it is not too tight. In this case, we want to make sure our device is on PCIe mode USB mode is for updating and flashing the firmware. We'll now take the USB-A to USB-C cable out from the anti-static package. Also remove the USB-C to USB-A adapter from the package. You can connect it as so if you're connecting to a device that takes USB-C connection. You do not need this though. The USB-3 connection will be the data transfer and the UART is for updating your firmware. You will be using the USB connection. Make sure again your device is on PCIe mode for this installation process. The PCIe will be plugged into your motherboard. In this case, we are plugging our DMA device into a PCIe X1 slot. You do not need to pl plug it into an X1 slot. You can plug it into any slot you decide, as long as it's X1 and above. Here we are unscrewing the brackets to be able to insert our DMA device into the motherboard. You should really only be able to have to remove one of these brackets. Here we are placing it back because we do not need to replace this bracket. We will now insert the DMA FPGA device into the motherboard. 
Make sure again your device is on PCIe mode, otherwise it will not function correctly. Once your device is plugged in, screw in to secure it onto the case. Your device is now securely and well plugged into your main PC. We will now plug in the USB device Plug in the USB-C to the FPGA DMA device. Make sure you're plugging into the USB port, as shown here, which would be the top port. Now you'll plug in your USB to the second computer that will... As such, you will plug it in. Hello, and welcome to the Immortal DMA Warrior software installation and setup. Everything done here should be done on the computer that is connected to the Warrior DMA VID USB, not the computer with the Warrior DMA inserted into the motherboard VIA PCIe. The first step is to disable Windows security. Feel free to turn this back on or leave it off after the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and go to Windows security, virus and threat protection, manage settings, turn off real protection, <coughs> and everything else that is necessary. Second, we're going to go to the immortaltech.net website and head over to the download section. We're going to go ahead and download the DMA warrior files and save it to our downloads folder. We're going to go ahead to file explorer we're going to go to our downloads folder, we're going to go to this PC, go to our downloads folder, double click on the zip file, and drag the contents at into your desktop. Now we're going to open the contents of the folder, we're going to go into Defender Controller, run Defender Controller, and disable Windows Defender. Next, we're going to DLL patch the system. So you're going to double click on DLL patch. You're going to go back to File Explorer. You're going to go to any folder, click on this PC, go to local disk, go to Windows, Scroll down until you see the same folders listed here. System32 will be our first one. You're going to open System32 on the DL patch, copy all the contents, and select all the contents and drag it over to the Windows System32 subsection. You're going to click on skip these files. Do not click replace the files. You will get blue screen. Now, you're going to go back, unboat, go to SysWow64, you're going to drag these files from SysWow64 over to the Windows subsection in SysWow64, and do the same thing. Click on Skip these files, and you're a DLL patch your system. The next step is to install your FTDI drivers. Go ahead into the FTDI driver installer. Run CMD M2 21128 setup. Click yes. Click extract. Click next. I accept this agreement. Next. And finish. You should now see in your device manager FTDI FT601 USB bridge device. If a warning label shows up on this device, it will be somewhere around here. You will right click on it, click properties, click driver, 
Now you would go to Update Driver, browse my computer for drivers, we go to Manual Driver Update, FTDI Driver, select this, copy, and paste. Click Next, and installed. You have successfully updated your drivers. Your FTDI driver is now able to be used and your Immortal FPGA should be installed correctly. Go ahead, head back, head to the FPGA DMA test, double click on test, and the test should succeed. If something displays as device not found, if test displays it as device not found, that means your connection is not proper. You should check your USB connections, you should check your PCIe connections, and you should make sure your drivers are correctly installed. There are a few other folders, firmware flash update, if you request a new firmware from us, you can update using this. There is a video in this folder that will show you how to do that. The next folder would be memory map generator. If you don't know what this is, I don't recommend touching it, but it will create a memory map of your system. Microsoft Visual Disregist Visual. If uh, nothing works, we recommend you install all here. Great. You are now ready to use your device. Thank you for purchasing Immortal DMA Warrior.